Okay, so in this video I'd like to talk about something called binomial expansion. And I'm going to go pretty quickly through it, but I'm going to use what I believe to be the easiest method. Now, why do we have to learn a method for this? Well, if I gave you a problem like x minus 2 squared, well, you know how to do that pretty easily. But what if I said x minus 20, or I'm sorry, x minus 2 uh, to the twelfth. Okay, well, good grief. Nobody wants to multiply that out twelve times. I mean, that would take a good 20 minutes probably. So uh, there's a method to get these terms in a, in a quicker manner. Now before we actually do it, um, we need to talk about what we need to use um, in order to do this. And we're going to use something called Pascal's Triangle. So some of you have heard of Pascal from maybe your science class, but he was a famous dude, and this is one of his contributions to math. Uh, Pascal's triangle is basically, it's just sort of like a, a pattern here. It's, it's sort of a sequence of terms where uh, you start with one on your zeroth row, uh, then you have two ones on your first row, and then your second row is where things become interesting. Um, you start off with the one, just like the, the tree above, um, but to get the middle term you're going to add the two terms above. So one plus one is two, then I'm going to end my row with another one. Okay. Now to get down to my zero, first, second, third row, I'm going to start with the one and I'm going to keep adding, right? So these two added together make a three, these two together make a three, and then I'm going to end with a one. And then I'm just going to start, keep creating my rows using the same method. One over here and now I add three plus uh, one is four, three plus three is six, four, one. 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. Now, I could keep going, but this video is not supposed to be long. So, uh, this is as far as I'm going to go for now. What this triangle does for us is it's going to be the coefficient part of our expansion. Okay, and you haven't seen an expansion yet, so you're like, what is she talking about? But when I do this in just a second, I'm going to reference one of these rows, and that's how I'm going to do a shortcut for multiplying out something ridiculous like that. So let's go ahead and jump to the how. How do we do this? Okay, so I want to make a reasonable example, but I'm also going to make the terms a little interesting just because... Uh, you know, if it was super easy, whatever, then you'd see a hard one and, and you'd curse me. But if you see something that's a little tricky, then maybe uh, it's not too bad. So here we go. So I'm going to do 2x minus 3y to the fourth. So instead of multiplying this out four times, you know, I'm already tired of writing and all I've done is expand it. Okay, in instead of doing this, I'm going to show you a shortcut. So Here's my step by step. The first thing I do is I look at the exponent because whatever the exponent is, um, is going to tell you um, which row of Pascal's triangle to use. Now remember when I was up here, I called this one the zeroth row. So this is the first row, second, third, and fourth. So basically I need to copy these coefficients from Pascal's triangle. So I'm going to start with one, four, six, four, and one. Notice I left a lot of room to groove in between them. That's on purpose, guys, because these terms get really ridiculous and long. So um, the, another way to remember it is if you forget Pascal's triangle in terms of which row is rich, um, whatever this exponent is, you're going to have one more term down here. So exponent of four, I've got five coefficients, and that's another way that I sometimes remember it. Okay, now that's step one. Copy the numbers of Pascal's triangle. Step two, I'm going to go ahead and put some lines under these. Step two is you take the first term in your binomial, and this is the leading term. You're going to count down with your exponents. So if this is to the fourth, I'm going to start with 2x to the fourth, 2x to the third, and I'm just counting down with exponents, and then 2x to the zero, which, you know, I'm going to go ahead and write it, but hopefully we all know that 2x to the 0 is just 1. So inevitably that will go away, but I'll write it for now. Um, after that, I go to the back term, or the second term rather. <laughs> the second term in the binomial is negative 3y. This is the term that I count up with the exponents. So since these were in descending order, these are now going to have exponents in ascending order. So I'm going to start with negative 3y 
to the zero, negative 3y to the first, negative 3y squared, negative 3y to the third, negative 3y to the fourth. Okay, so this is the, you know, you're, you're done with the expansion. You just have to make it pretty now. Okay, now by making it pretty, you know, the thing is, guys, this is a polynomial. So there's going to be plus and minus signs, and you want to clean it up. So you want to put all these numbers together. So I'm just going to talk through this each term. I've got a 1 in the front here. I'm just going to do the numbers first. So 2 to the 4th is 16, and then 16 times negative 3 is a negative 48. Actually, I'm a liar because that's to the 0th power. Ha ha, fooled you. So this is actually gone, right? Because anything to the 0th power is 1. So when I simplify this, it's just 16x to the 4th. Okay, so that's what that whole term turns into. Now back here, now we can do a lot of math. Um, I'm going to start with 2 to the 3rd because that just jumped out at me. So 2 to the 3rd is 8 times the 4 is 32. 32 times the negative 3 is a, because it's to the 1st, right? So just negative 3 to the 1st, 32. Negative 96, and then I'll copy x to the 3rd y to the first. So if you didn't catch that, I just took all the numbers. I distributed the exponents to all the numbers and just mathed it out. 4 times 2 to the third times negative 3 to the first. That's how I got negative 96. Now I go to my next term. I'm going to do 6 times 2 squared times negative 3 squared. So that'll be a 9 times a 4 times a 6. So 9 times 6 is 54. 54 times 4 Man, I wish I had a calculator. I'm getting 216, and it will be positive because I squared the negative, and then I'll have x squared, y squared. Okay, now I'll do the next one. Negative 3 to the third, that'll be a negative 27 times 2 times 4. So I need to multiply by 8 in the end. So it'll be a negative 6, 5, what is that? 21x y to the third. And then the last term will be negative 3 to the fourth. That's 81 times 2. So that'll be a positive, what's 81 times 2? 162? I think so. X, oh crap, I messed up again. That's a dang zero. God, okay. Anything to the zero is one, peeps. Cross it off so you're not tempted to jack it up like I just did. 81y to the fourth. Okay, so there's my one, two, three, four. There's my five terms of my expansion. It's slow at first, but I promise once you get good at it, this is way faster than multiplying all this out painfully by hand. Okay, uh, let me know if you have any questions, but at the end of the day, that's it step by step. Hopefully that made sense. Um, good luck.